I guess probably when we're speaking about uh, testing mm -hmm. and licenses, there's yeah. an elephant in the room. Oh, there certainly is. The $35 elephant. Yep, yep. And um, the FCC just announced at the end of last year that um, uh, the ALRL rights, um, let me see if I can, I should have, um, in a report and order released on December 29, the FCC scaled back to a $35 fee for a new license application, a special temporary authority request, a rule waiver request, a license renewal, and a vanity call sign applications. All fees are per application. There will be no fee for administrative updates, such as a change of mailing or email address. So what does that mean to, to us hams? Well, when you take a test, you're gonna pay your $15 testing fee and a $35 application fee. Um, if you're gonna renew your license, you're gonna pay a $35 application fee. If you're gonna apply for a vanity call sign, we're gonna pay 35 bucks, but um, it's good. You know, your license is good for 10 years, so it's good for 10 years. I am going to take a different stance on this. Mm -hmm. And based on what everyone says on the interwebs, I know where everyone else is at. I'm going to say this. If you want to charge 35 bucks, fine. Then the license is for life. Forget this renewal stuff. You know what I'm Here's saying? A, I know what you, I know exactly what you're saying. There's other countries that do lifetime licensing. And I would right. I I think that would that would have been a, you know, excellent excellent compromise you know we pay the mm -hmm. fee and then your license is for life and then pay the fee for the for the upgrades and vanity and um be done with it but um yeah every 10 years and, yeah the whole 10 crazy. years things I'm, I'm sorry but nowadays you can update your address online you can mm -hmm. update anything else you need to online the only thing the fcc really needs to know is when you're dead yeah you know so 35 bucks it's for life upgrades fine it's free because really what are, what additional information is the fcc doing other than saying oh the vec has approved it they just process it and it's oh, a yeah. batch file so uh, you know i'm gonna stay out of politics here but the fcc commissioners are, are turning over this year this may be a good time for the FCC to say, or not sorry, the FCC, but the ARRL to lobby and mm -hmm. say, let's do licenses for life and just be done with it. Yeah. Well, and I can't believe that. Um, I mean, it's um, this is this is a, in, a, in a sense a regulatory fee. So we're supposed to be paying the the cost of what it is to run whatever through the you know through the database the licensing system and i find it hard to believe that it only costs them 35 dollars to manage our um our information i would think that it would be uh, you know it's the amount of well it, yeah like you said it was a batch file but the amount of time effort and time it takes could be a lot it, it could cost a lot more than that so yeah um, James F. Pop says that a, a pilot's license is for life. And that brings up another good point. Yeah. If you get a mm -hmm. commercial license, a, um, a GROL, General Radio Telephone Operator's License, yep. that's for life. Yep. So, you know, if you get the radar endorsement, that's for life. So why is a amateur radio license not for life? It's a good question. That's a very good question. You know, and the only and the only downside I see about that is, well, you know, what's what would happen if people get their licenses and um, it falls, you know, it falls fallow. They don't they don't use it at all. You know, it's eventually that call sign could be recovered and reassigned. But how would you um, manage that if if there's no way of expiring that call sign? Well, look at the current. Um progression of licenses right now so i'm kd9 cgx mm -hmm. and i've been doing uh testing ve sessions for four years now five years now 
And I yep. think we're in the KDQ. In, yes, so in the nine, we're, we're in the nine halfway region. Halfway through the alphabet on the suffixes under the D. Yeah. I, we're not going to run out of call signs anytime soon of the two by three. No. And I don't no. think we're going to do that at any call district for a long time. The, and uh, realistically, the other call signs, the two by twos, uh, two by ones, and everything, those are almost all, already taken up. Yep. Yep. Th there's very few left of those. So I think that it's, um, it's probably time for the FCC to reconsider how things are done. I don't know if there's any international regulations that dictate that, but for the FCC to keep doing this 10 year thing and then still keep charging $35, it's baloney. Well, other, other countries have lifetime licenses. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I know there are, there are countries with a lifetime license. Yeah. Uh, Dave says, well, the $35 fee might reduce the bogus filing of repetitive vanity call applications. Yeah, it might it could happen. Yeah, and I'm not in disagreement with that. Yeah. I think if you want a vanity call sign, cough up thirty five bucks. Yeah, we and used to I've pay. seen some people that basically are changing call signs, like on a monthly, you know, every couple months basis. They're just changing call signs. It's kind of sketchy. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or comments? Well, please leave them in the comment area below. I'll filter through them and who knows, you know, maybe yours will end up in our next Your Questions Answered live stream. For more articles and information though, please check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos, so check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Also, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, especially if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.